What is going on everyone? Today I'll be reviewing the all new Storm Insight. The Insight releases on February the 19th. When we were told about the Insight, I was honestly confused. I was expecting an asymmetrical ball, yes, but I was thinking more along the lines of a stronger pearl asymmetrical ball or a weaker solid asymmetrical ball. To my surprise, the Insight has a hybrid cover and features a cover stock base that we haven't seen in quite some time. In fact, I haven't thrown an R4S ball since I had the street fight as a youth bowler. I pondered about how to drill this piece because I really didn't know where it fit and after talking to my mentor and my PSO, Chuck Schomer of Bowling Solutions Columbia, we decided to use a smaller drilling angle in the hopes that this ball would blend out the lane front to back for me. I'm starting to bowl competitively again and the shapes I need to see to be successful out there are different from those that I need to see to strike on the 58 to 1 house pattern. So, the goal for me is to use this ball when I really need to blend out the mid lane and have the ball roll forward into the pocket. As you can see, this ball does just that. I'm able to use this ball and get it right early and keep my hands soft. And doing this allows me to let the ball do the work, whereas with other balls I really have to shape it using my hand. One downside to this ball though is that it doesn't quite get up the hill when my angles are left and in the puddle. I think it just shows that this ball isn't the strongest piece we make, but it's still stronger than the symmetrical balls that we offer. High rep players and slow speed players should be able to use this ball in heavy oil lane conditions. It has a bunch of teeth, but not as much as the Proton or Reality. You can also get by using this ball the first game of League. Speed dominant players and Rev Challenge players will love this ball as well. It's not quite as strong as the Proton or Reality like I just said, but it creates a faster transition off of the dry compared to our Rubicon, which will help you create more entry angle and better pin carry. The Insight is stronger than the Parallax because the Insight reads the lane much earlier. On house patterns, the Parallax could potentially make up the difference in front to back with the strength that it offers down lane, and ideally you could start with the Insight and then when the front seemed to go away you could transition into the Parallax. The Insight transitioned off the friction much faster than our Rubicon. The Rubicon for me is really the smoothest ball we make. I can relax my hand and bump up against the dry with the Rubicon whereas the Insight forces me into steeper angles still using the soft hand. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel for future bar review videos. Coolwick is running some killer deals right now to make sure to head on over to the Coolwick website and while checking out you can use my promo code PBA Cannon and you'll receive a 10% discount on your purchase. Should I do a Coolwick giveaway? Let me know in the comments below and as always I'll catch you on the next one.